chondrichthys, chondrichthys, from Greek chiomicron nu delta rho, chondrocartilage, chi theta sigma ichthys fish, is a class that contains the cartilaginous fishes, they are jawed vertebrates with paired fins, paired nares, scales, a heart with its chambers in series, and skeletons made of cartilage rather than bone. The class is divided into two subclasses, elasmobranchii, sharks, rays, skates, and sawfish, and holocephaly, chimeras, sometimes called ghost sharks, which are sometimes separated into their own class. Within the infrafilum gnathostomata, cartilaginous fishes are distinct from all other jawed vertebrates. The skeleton is cartilaginous. The notochord is gradually replaced by a vertebral column during development, except in holocephaly, where the notochord stays intact. In some deepwater sharks, the column is reduced. As they do not have bone marrow, red blood cells are produced in the spleen and the epigonal organ, special tissue around the gonads, which is also thought to play a role in the immune system. They are also produced in the latex organ, which is only found in certain cartilaginous fishes. The subclass holocephaly, which is a very specialized group, lacks both the latex and epigonal organs. Apart from electric rays, which have a thick and flabby body, with soft, loose skin, chondrichthians have tough skin covered with dermal teeth. Again, holocephaly is an exception, as the teeth are lost in adults, only kept on the clasping organ seen on the caudal ventral surface of the male also called placoid scales, or dermal denticles, making it feel like sandpaper. In most species, all dermal denticles are oriented in one direction, making the skin feel very smooth if rubbed in one direction and very rough if rubbed in the other. Originally, the pectoral and pelvic girdles, which do not contain any dermal elements, did not connect. In later forms, each pair of fins became ventrally connected in the middle when scapulocoracoid and pubioice chiatic bars evolved. In rays, the pectoral fins have connected to the head and are very flexible. One of the primary characteristics present in most sharks is the heterocircle tail, which aids in locomotion. Chondrichthians have tooth-like scales called dermal denticles or placoid scales. Denticles usually provide protection, and in most cases, streamlining. Mucous glands exist in some species, as well. It is assumed that their oral teeth evolved from dermal denticles that migrated into the mouth. But it could be the other way around, as the teleost bony fished in Ticeps clupoides has most of its head covered by dermal teeth, as does, probably, Atherian elemis, another bony fish. This is most likely a secondary evolved characteristic, which means there is not necessarily a connection between the teeth and the original dermal scales. The old placoderms did not have teeth at all, but had sharp bony plates in their mouth. Thus, it is unknown whether the dermal or oral teeth evolved first. It has even been suggested that the original bony plates of all vertebrates are now gone and that the present scales are just modified teeth, even if both the teeth and body armor had a common origin a long time ago. However, there is currently no evidence of this. All chondrichthians breathe through five to seven pairs of gills, depending on the species. In general, pelagic species must keep swimming to keep oxygenated water moving through their gills whilst demersal species can actively pump water in through their spiracles and out through their gills. However, this is only a general rule and many species differ. A spiracle is a small hole found behind each eye. These can be tiny and circular, such as found on the nurse shark, Ginglimostoma ceratum, to extended and slit-like, such as found on the Wapagongs, or Ectolipidae. Many larger, pelagic species, such as the mackerel sharks, Lamnidae, and the thresher sharks, Alapiidae, no longer possess them. Chondrichthys nervous system is composed of a small brain, 8 to 10 pairs of cranial nerves, and a spinal cord with spinal nerves. They have several sensory organs which provide information to be processed. Ampullae of Lorenzini are a network of small jelly filled pores called electroreceptors which help the fish sense electric fields in water. This aids in finding prey, navigation, and sensing temperature. The lateral line system has modified epithelial cells located externally which sense motion, vibration, and pressure in the water around them. Most subspecies have large well-developed eyes. Also, they have very powerful nostrils and olfactory organs. Their inner ears consist of three large semicircular canals which aid in balance and orientation. Their sound detecting apparatus has limited range and is typically more powerful at lower frequencies. Some subspecies have electric organs which can be used for defense and predation. They have relatively simple brains with the forebrain not greatly enlarged. 
The structure and formation of myelin in their nervous systems are nearly identical to that of tetrapods, which has led evolutionary biologists to believe that chondrophies were a cornerstone group in the evolutionary timeline of myelin development. Like all other jawed vertebrates, members of chondrichthys have an adaptive immune system. Fertilization is internal. Development is usually live birth, ovoviviparous species, but can be through eggs, oviparous. Some rare species are viviparous. There is no parental care after birth, however, some chondrichthians do guard their eggs. Capture-induced premature birth and abortion, collectively called capture-induced parturition, occurs frequently in sharks slash rays when fish. Capture induced parturition is often mistaken for natural birth by recreational fishers and is rarely considered in commercial fisheries management despite being shown to occur in at least 12% of live bearing sharks and rays, 88 species to date. The class Chondrichthys has two subclasses, the subclass Elasmobranchii, sharks, rays, skates, and sawfish, and the subclass Holocephaly, chimeras. To see the full list of the species, click here. Cartilaginous fish are considered to have evolved from acanthidians. Originally assumed to be closely related to bony fish or a polyphyletic assemblage leading to both groups, the discovery of Entelognathus and several examinations of acanthidian characteristics indicate that bony fish evolved directly from placoderm-like ancestors, while acanthidians represent a paraphyletic assemblage leading to chondrichthys. Some characteristics previously thought to be exclusive atoacanthidians are also present in basal cartilaginous fish. In particular, new phylogenetic studies find cartilaginous fish to be well nested among acanthidians, with Doliodus and Tamiobatus being the closest relatives to chondrichthys. Recent studies vindicate this, as Doliodus had a mosaic of chondrichthyi and non-acanthidian traits. Dating back to the Middle and Late Ordovician period, many isolated scales, made of dentine and bone, have a structure and growth form that is chondrichthian-like. They may be the remains of stem chondrichthians, but their classification remains uncertain. The earliest unequivocal fossils of cartilaginous fishes first appeared in the fossil record by about 430 million years ago, during the Middle Wenlock epoch of Silurian period. The radiation of elasmo branches in the chart on the right is divided into the taxa, Clidosolaci, Eugenia doniforms, Simorita, Xenacanthiforms. Ctenocanthiforms, Hybodoniforms, Galeomorphi, Squaliforms, and Bata Idea. By the start of the early Devonian, 419 Maya, million years ago, jawed fishes had divided into three distinct groups the now extinct Placoderms, a paraphyletic assemblage of ancient armored fishes, the bony fishes, and the clade including spiny sharks and early cartilaginous fish. The modern bony fishes, class Osteichthyes, appeared in the late Silurian or early Devonian. About 416 million years ago. Cartilaginous fishes first appeared about 395 Ma, having evolved from Doliotis like spiny shark ancestors. The first abundant genus of shark, Clidosolachi, appeared in the oceans during the Devonian period. A Bayesian analysis of molecular data suggests that the Holocephaly and Elasmoblanchii diverged in the Silurian, and that the sharks and rays slash skates split in the Carboniferous. Subphylum vertebrate. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.